Is this on? Well, hello there. I was just fishing when the new patch notes were released and they had some crucial informations. So we're going to talk today about MMR and how people are f ducking up their own MMR. All right. So new act, there's always something changing with your rank, right? It's being squished down or something, but that's only the rank. There's also MMR behind it. And then you hear people in the last day of, of the act throw games because they don't matter. And the same they say about placements. And that is not true at all. Don't believe that anyone that says that the placement matches are not important. Don't believe that anyone that says that the games at the end of the act are not important. Do you guys know how MMR works? I, I, would, I, I don't know. Let's, let's, let's do... Let's do something to, to explain it. So this Elgato Stream Deck, hashtag sellout. Thank you, Elgato, for sponsoring the video. Is your visual rank. All right, this is your visual rank. And the Red Bull behind it. <laughs> Thank you for sponsoring the stream, Red Bull. Actually, that's not true. We're not being sponsored. Hey, maybe you can sponsor. And this Red Bull represents your hidden MMR. This is your visual rank. This is your hidden MMR. And you don't see it, typically. All right, so this is your, like your, let's say this is your immortal badge. All right, this Stream Deck is your immortal badge. And... When you play the game, the, the ma matchmaking never looks at the rank, but looks always at the hidden MMR. The hidden MMR decides who gets into the lobby, and the game tries to find 10 people who have similar hidden MMR. Now, when the game ends, the game checks who won, who lost, and adjusts the RR, which is the rank rating. Now, rank rating works this way. Let's say you uh, have a diamond hidden MMR, but your rank is gold, right? So your hidden MMR is higher than your visual rank. So when you win a game, you're going to rank up higher because the, uh, you're going to um, get more points because the game thinks you're not at your own visual level. So you're gonna, the game is going to try to, to boost your visual rank so it matches to the hidden MMR. And the other way around, the same way. Let's say you're dual queuing with someone who is much better than you, and you're essentially getting carried. Then your rank, visual rank, is gonna go higher, but your hidden MMR, because you perform awfully and you shouldn't be fucking boosted, stays the same, or goes even lower. There's a possibility... Actually, no, I, 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 I didn't want to lie. There's no way of losing MMR while winning. But there's actually possibility of... Gaining hidden MMR while losing, but not the other way around. But the point is, your rank might be higher than a hidden MMR. So then when you lose a game, when your visual rank is way higher than your hidden MMR, that means you're losing more rank points. Why, why am I explaining this, all of this? Because when your act ends, your hidden MMR is being transferred. There's no such thing in Valorant as a hard reset. When we start a new act, a new episode, players who have been Immortal 1, 2, 3 and Radiant, they're gonna be all Ascendant 1, but that Ascendant will be different from your hidden MMR. So all of those people coming in from, uh, from the higher rank, the difference between them, they're gonna be all Ascendant 1. So all of them... Oh, look, what a nice stream deck. That's the second visual rank. All of them will be Ascendant 1, right? So there are two players here, both Ascendant 1. One was Immortal 3, one was Radiant. And then the hidden, hidden MMR... Hold do I, I need more... I need more hands. And the hidden MMR for one player will be here, but the other player will be here. So one will have a hidden MMR that is higher than the other, even though they have the same rank. They're gonna get into different lobbies that will probably not play ever against each other because the hidden MMR dictates who gets into the lobby, right? But when that will uh, when they will play matches, the player with the higher MMR will most likely gain more RR for each win because his visual rank is further down from the hidden MMR than the other one. That's why you will see, for example, a Radiant player gaining 28 points 
and losing seven, while the immortal player, immortal free player, will gain twenty five, for example, but lose twelve. It's still a huge difference, and the game tries to boost you up to your own rank, but it's gonna take a little bit more time, right? So, what I'm trying to say here is when the new act starts, your hidden MMR will dictate how fast you will, it will take for you to go back to your rank. And since the MMR is never being hard reset, you essentially transfer all of your history of the games on your main account, right? Oh, sorry, on your account, towards the further episodes. So when you're not caring about the fuck end of the act and whatever, man, it's like it's going to be reset anyway. You're going to have a lower MMR because you are not winning your matches and that's getting transferred. Your visual rank is getting erased and that doesn't matter, but your hidden MMR stays the same. And when it comes to placement matches, I was I was talking with Evermore uh, from from Riot. He's a game dev responsible for a competitive side, um, not only ranked but in general, right? So for the design, and I asked him once if he could put a number for like an um, for the placement matches. How do they like, let's say, transfer when it comes to an actual um, number, right? And he said to me that the difference between winning five placements and losing five placements typically varies, sorry, var how do I say that word? Typically it's between 200 to 300 RR gains because the first placement matches will try to adjust your hidden MMR because the game checks how well you do in the placement matches and boosts your MMR accordingly way higher than any other matches so you know what that means that means that the placement matches are more important than normal games because if you win all of your placement matches you're gonna gain more rr in the further games in the season when you actually have your rank so if you int in placement matches or alt f4 and so on you're essentially losing RR in the future matches. But you're never gonna see that because people are too dumb to understand how it works. And also, when you surrender your games, it completes, completely fucks over your, your MMR. Like your hidden MMR gets completely smashed. And there's nothing worse to do in this game than surrender a game. Really. It's never worth. If you think you're gonna save time and just play one more game, if you win the next game, it's not gonna make up for what you have lost because you sacrificed one game by FFing. You're never gonna get that back because it just literally just smashes your MMR to bits. Because the game not only takes into account how big of a loss it is, but also you get no encounter MMR um, adjustment for playing the game. Because the game counts how are your duels going, how do you use your utility, and all of that accounts into transferring to your MMR. So when you just forfeit the game, you essentially say, well, I guess I did nothing in this game, smash me, you know? And you're like, oh shit, fa thank you, Riot. Fucking Riot and their matchmaking men is so shit. No, it's not. People just don't have a clue how it works, which is a problem on Riot. I'm going to be honest with you. I think a lot of the, those explanations that I'm saying right now should be pop-up windows in the game. But it doesn't change the fact that people just don't give a fuck and they don't care, which is a problem in itself. So, um, in general, it's never worth to forfeit any games, even if you have fks play it out try to get kills you can still gain hidden hidden mmr even if you lose a game i cannot tell you numbers but it is a possibility that you might lose a 4v5 game but you gained hidden mmr from that match because you performed well and you get a lot of kills still and so on so um essentially that's about it and now in the new episode, there are going to be some changes when it comes to uh, the, uh, the, 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 the way that it's being calculated as well. So I'm going to bring up the patch notes here and we're going to talk about those changes. My stream deck is upside down, so I cannot see it. Okay, so 
And all on the I see it in the chat that the question is about the draw. The draw also can affect positively your hidden MMR and negative negatively your hidden MMR even during a draw. So for for context, this are, those are the changes that are going to be applied in the new episode that's going to release tomorrow. Rank rating gains and losses, right? Rank rating, so your visual rank, not hidden MMR, right? Rank rating is your rank, your visual, like iron, gold, and so on. And uh, shock door, that's a sub. Right? Let me make it quieter. And hidden MMR is the thing behind the rank that dictates the lobby and your gains, right? So rank rating gains and losses will depend slightly more on win and loss and slightly less on the exact round differential of the match. This is a very simple and a good change, by the way, because it really feels... Um, I feel like this is more about keeping motivation for the players because you can win like a 13-5 game, 13-7 game, you gain like 19 points, and then the next game you get smashed because you have an AFK or something and you lose 25. And you just feel awful, right? You like sweat it out an entire game and you get crushed anyway because the next game, it, it, it didn't even, like, you couldn't even affect it because it was an AFK, a, a complete grief or something and you can't really do much, right? But it's still important that in that match you still try, right? So there was going to be less swings, which in my opinion... For the longe longevity of the of the leaderboard is a good change so i like that now for players whose rank ranks are far away from the mmr remember right visual this is your rank this is your hidden mmr and now we're talking about the distance from the hidden mmr is it like above or below right so rank rating gains will depend more on the individual performance instead of a round differential. You should also see your rank and MMR converge, converge faster. Context. We received feedback that players felt like they would not be rewarded for a good game or punished too harshly for a bad game during their rank climb. If it's a player's rank below is their actual MMR, right, so he's boosted, they will be rewarded more um, for a good game. Sorry, uh, the other way around. If a player's rank is below the actual MMR, so he's um, he, he, he should be better rank than he is right now, then he will be rewarded more for a good game. If a player's rank is above the MMR, so he's boosted, they will not be harshly penalized if they lose but perform well in that match. Because, well, I guess the game... That the, I, I think that depends on the context of the lobby. But in most cases, it will work like that. So the point is... Why does, what, what does this achieve as well, and that is not being talked about here, is the fact that, um, is the fact that Smurfs are going to be boosted higher because of their personal performance matter more than normal, than just to win the game, right? If you, if you have a Smurf and he goes 44 uh, and 4 deaths and he's 31, then he probably will gain like 200 rank rating and just skip like three, two, three ranks or something, right? So that's one thing. But also remember, once you reach, if I'm not mistaken, I might be wrong about this because I can remember the Ascendant inclusion, but before Ascendant, Ascendant rank was, uh, was uh, introduced to the game, um, once you reached Immortal, the personal stats that you have in the game didn't matter as much as winning or losing the game. In lower ranks, performance bonuses were a thing. In Immortal, that was never a thing unless it was bugged. There was a moment when it was bugged. But in general, your, your personal performance in Immortal wasn't mattering almost at all. Right? There's still minor differences, but it, the most important was are you winning or are you losing? And now this change changes that more in the lower ranks to fight smurfs which is good it doesn't get, it doesn't change in the higher ranks from what i understood at least and people might complain well now fucking duelists will have more rr well you have to choose either you want to have a better smurf against smurfs or you're gonna have a worse system against smurfs and you're gonna have fairer matches towards your own performance if you don't play duelists and so on so um yeah i guess that's about it those are, those are the crucial things that are being changed in this patch so i i think this solution those solutions here 
uh, represented in the changes of the MMR are needed and are good changes, although I do not agree with the fact that we never have a hard reset or a huge squish down of the MMR. If I would be in a riot dev, I would smash that hard reset button and everyone has essentially a fresh account and starts ranked from zero like a year ago or, or a year and a half ago or straight up right after alpha beta, you know? But now, right now we're like in, inheriting the awkward ranks that people were gaining from stacking from like being boosted and so on it's so hard to lose that mmr because it takes so many matches so that so many matches are being ruined by accounts that should have never been been in this elo and so on and it works both ways sometimes it's too high sometimes it's too low so i think this is a, this is a um this is a huge problem that we're not we do do not, do not have a hard reset but even if the if the devs and by the way, to counter argument, right? Because people will say, but Lord, what about what about the people that are just gonna get smashed in iron by a fucking X Radiant? Well, the reality is that's gonna be like one match. People who are radiant or immortal, they're gonna be back to diamond or or immortal after like few games. Because that adjustment will just work that way. So and I would gladly see a huge readjustment of MMR for the cost of few matches in general being just, you know, swings. Um, but what, what else could have been achieved instead of fully hard resetting uh, the MMR would be a squish down. What I mean is, let's assume that hidden MMR value of 1000 is your immortal one and your radiant is 2000, right? And your ascendant is 700. I don't know, I'm just making numbers, right? So... In a new episode, I would like to see a squish down of all the Radiants and Immortals to the minimum of Immortal 1 rank. So the 1000 MMR, and they start fresh from the same level. But that's my own opinion. Uh, so you might know, uh, not agree with that. Remember, in our game, MMR doesn't decay. And that's another problem that we have. Uh, in, in, in Valorant. It's a huge issue that the MMR doesn't decay. Your rank your rank is decaying, but not the actual MMR. And also, by the way, if you're paying attention to one of the other uh, Lotter Labs episode about the Killjoy being bugged and so on, right? They actually fixed the issues that I rep uh, reported. Unfortunately, no shout out in patch notes this time. Which makes me sad, but um, fix objects like traps that were not being damaged if they are placed in a lot of patches that are already active. That's something that I discovered on the first hour of the patch. And also the biggest change is the lockdown from Killjoy now probably takes damage from all abilities because so far, still to this day, you cannot kill a lockdown with your mollies. So that's going to be changed uh, and that's about it. All right, guys, girls. And people who identify as anything else. Thank you so much for watching. We're gonna see each other next time. This is this was a I thought it's gonna be a short video. It's actually 18 minutes. Hope I helped with understanding how MMR works and why you shouldn't fucking throw matches at the end of the act and in placement matches because they are fucking important. All right? Mwah. Love you all. Hope you guys will share to the to your teammate that says that stuff and spreads the lies. All right? Love you all. Bye bye.